Good morning children. This morning session is dedicated to class 12. The pre-board exam is knocking at the door of this exam. Is we are revising and discussing the board question, all India board questions to enlighten their preparation and to comfort them from worries and anxieties. So here are some questions from the poem Keeping Quiet by Pablo Neruda. The board question, the very first board question that has come in all India 2012. The question is, according to the poet, what is that human being can learn from nature? Well, uh, yes, sir. human being can learn uh, a lesson from nature. Life under apparent stillness is the lesson that human being can learn from keeping quiet. The poet's appeal for keeping quiet does not mean total inactivity. He is just appealing to have some silence in life of human being to go for self introspection so the poet is emphasizing upon the importance of self introspection by human being so that they can reflect on their actions that they are doing and the lesson that we can learn from earth and from the nature is that earth under complete stillness is also working even under even under complete stillness, the earth continues to breathe and work. The poet just emphasizes the fact that nature continues to breathe and work even when there is stillness all around. Question number two. What are the different kinds of war mentioned in the poem? What is Neruda's attitude towards this war? The poet mm, talks about war against humanity and nature green war war with poisonous gases and war with fire these are the kinds of what the poet has mentioned in the poem keeping quiet niruta's attitude towards war is that of rejection he rejects any sort of war because he believes that wars uh, always bring victory but there is no one to celebrate the war war bring of course war bring all sorts of wars bring victory but there is no one no survivor to celebrate the victory next question there is a five marks question it has come in 2014 all india how is the poet's appeal for keeping quiet different from absolute sluggishness the poet in his appeal <coughs> of <coughs> keeping quiet you know emphasizes the importance of self -introspe introspection in man's life <clears throat> the poet emphasizes the importance of self-introspection in man's life. He urges us to seek a moment of silence so as to reflect on our action. And it is very important that we should reflect on what, whatever we are doing in our day-to-day -day life. We must understand ourselves and analyze our actions as we experience the sadness of death. Why should we have a moment of silence? So that we can reflect on our actions as we are experiencing sadness of death. Life is, you know, just full of misery, sorrow and death. So the poet wants that we should find out some moment of silence to reflect on our actions because we are always experiencing gloom and sadness in our life. So why do we experience gloom and sadness? We must think about, we must go for an introspection of our actions. The poet's appeal for a moment of silence um, should not be mistaken as a moment of inactivity or moment of sluggishness. He seeks a silence where people are not obsessed with work. Rather, they will give personal attention to think about their own action. This moment of silence will help them overcome all the woes and defects of life. This moment of silence will help the people overcome their moments of woes and you know defects. And eventually, the poet you know feels that the earth will enlighten men in the process of silence because the the earth always breathes and work even when there is stillness all around. Therefore, we should learn the lesson from the earth, from the nature, that nature continues to work even when there is stillness all around. So there is no need to mistake, you know, stillness or stillness to inactivity or sluggishness. Stillness does not mean total inactivity or sluggishness. Rather, 
we have to find out some moment in our life where we can reflect on our actions just because this moment of silence will provide us an opportunity to give, go for self introspection of our actions and this will help us overcome our woes and worries, our defects and our gloomy behavior because then only we can enjoy life to the fullest and we, we must understand the beautiful I mean message that the nature is giving us that even when there is a complete stillness around the nature, nature continues to breathe and work and that is what we have to learn from. Therefore, in this poem, the emphasis of the poet Pablo Nerida is to go for certain moment, to seek certain moment in life where we can reflect on our action, we can introspect ourselves on our actions and we can analyze why do we feel you know, gloomy state of mind in our life and how to overcome these woes and worries with the help of this moment of silence. That is what I wanted to suggest. Thank you very much.